Hey, Jackery has just released their latest portable power station, and this is the 1,000 watt hour capacity model that a lot of people have been waiting for, including myself. Uh, it's the Jackery Explorer 1000 is the name of this one. This 1,000 watt hour capacity is a very useful capacity, especially if you have a small rig. You don't want to have to install an inverter and you know all this other stuff to be wired in uh, to be able to give you off-grid power. Now, with the built-in uh, 1,000 watt pure sign inverter, again, very useful to pretty much power everything you need. Uh, if you have a CPAP or need to power a small fridge freezer like this one, I was uh, lucky enough uh, to be able to get a hold of one of these from Jackery and to test out and to try. Uh, they also sent me this uh, one of their uh, portable 100 watt solar panels. So let's take a closer look and uh, see what this thing can do. So when I first got this, the first uh, thing I noticed really uh, when I took it out of the box was really how compact and small this was uh, given that it's a it's a 1000 watt battery with inverter and all this stuff in here. It's it's about the size of a, of a 12 pack of beer with a handle. Yeah, it, it's uh, 22 pounds I believe is, is the weight, but it's really easy to tote around. Uh, very manageable, very easy to stow. So the size and the and the compactness is is really my first impression. You know, was really good. I, I really like that. Everything is accessible from the front. So if you have this stored away somewhere, you don't have to turn it around or try to access plugs on the back. Everything's available for you right here on the front. We got three AC outlets, so you don't have to use a power strip or something if you want to plug a few things in to AC power. And uh, you know, with four different USB outputs, that really adds a lot of uh, a lot of benefit for folks who have USB stuff, especially USB-C. You know, if you want to charge a laptop or something that has a USB-C power port, uh, you got two of those and two standard USBs, including a quick charge port here. So very very handy. Plus, yeah, you can just plug a standard uh, DC power plug in here to that cigarette lighter style uh, output. The thing with the with these power stations is that you don't necessarily want to activate all these sections at the same time because if you don't need them they're just uh, drawing a little bit of battery capacity if you leave them on. So the best thing to do is just to turn these sections on if you need that particular output. For example if you want to plug in just your AC plugs. You just plug them in here. You got three available, which is really nice. You got three plugs, and uh, you turn on this uh, button here at the top of that section, and, and then it provides power to those AC plugs. Same thing with the DC section here. If you have uh, USB connections, all your USB stuff, or from your cigarette lighter adapter, uh, you can just plug them in here and then turn on the DC section. And you can run both of these sections at the same time. It doesn't really matter. It just provides you a way to uh, to turn off each one when you don't need it, so you don't draw extra power. Because even like with the inverter here, uh, just running an inverter like a thousand watt pure sign inverter, it takes some power just to run it. Even though you're not generating a lot of energy, it's got some overhead there. So when you're not needing it, make sure that one is off. The nice thing about the DC plug here that I wanted to mention is that it's also uh, regulated so what that means is it doesn't change the voltage you know as the battery capacity drops or the you know when the when there's a lot of load on it so that's real important if you want to plug something in here that that needs a steady voltage uh, this is regulated at I believe 13.2 volts if you were to measure the the voltage coming out of here it's always going to be 13.2 volts regardless of how much battery capacity is remaining the display here is really easy to read. I, I really like it because it has the exact percentage of battery capacity available in, uh, and it doesn't make you guess actually how much there is by looking at a bar chart. And uh, it does have a bar chart, but you don't need to rely on it. You can actually see the exact percentage here. And it also shows you the total number of watts that are um, actually being drawn from the battery and the total number of watts coming in. And you can charge this as you actually power things at the same time, which is really nice, and you'll be able to see that on the display. 
Now I've used this to power lots of different types of equipment like this uh, portable fridge freezer that we use and uh, it has a AC uh, power input as well as a, a DC so I can switch that between AC and DC uh, whenever I want but it's currently set to like five degrees Fahrenheit so it's running in freezer mode and when it's running it it draws about 40 amps from this so with this size uh, 1000 watt hour capacity I can run this freezer in freezer mode for about you know three to four uh, sometimes five days straight without recharging now because of the uh, the capacity and the the inverter it's a 1000 watt inverter that can surge up to 2000 watts so that means you can even run some small uh, high powered appliances like your kitchen appliances for shorter periods of time like a small microwave or uh, maybe a hot plate uh, I've been trying out an induction plate and uh, you know it'll it should power it just fine for uh, you know shorter periods of time and of course if you have just smaller load uh, electronics like laptops I've run my laptop for a few days straight just plugged into this if you have a lot of smaller stuff like that then you know you're gonna prolong the the battery life of this uh, you know by uh, just kind of using smaller loads but it really is a, a flexible piece of equipment that you can just plug anything into it and it'll run for a long time now you've got three different options for uh, recharging this which is really nice and they all plug into this input here this power input the the charger here is actually an MPPT charger which is new to this unit which provides a little bit of a boost from the, uh, the DC power coming in but still you have an, an AC uh, option and it, both cords come in this little pouch by the way which is kind of handy and uh, the AC uh, brick here you can plug this into any AC outlet and it actually produces a 24 volt uh, output from this uh, little transformer and I went ahead and tried that that was the first uh, charging option I tried when I got the the battery here it was uh, at 50 percent and I plugged in a space heater and drained it down to zero and then tried to recharge it from that point from zero all the way up to hundred now I was quite surprised uh, because it only took about six and a half hours to fully charge the battery from zero all the way up to a hundred. I checked it at two hours and four hours and six hours and I believe at six hours it was already at like 98 percent. So about six and a half hours or so is what it took to fully recharge it. Now I also noticed that it was uh, the maximum that was coming in during the uh, the AC uh, charging was about 160 uh, watts or so so that's about the max uh, that it, I think it's gonna take I think it's about 10 amps uh, if you were to do the do the math but uh, that was with the AC charging option which I believe is gonna be the faster option if you want to fully recharge this from zero or you know wherever now the second option is the second uh, cable that comes in the pouch and this is your just a DC receptacle charger so if you wanted to plug this into your uh, your automobile you know while you're driving very convenient to just kind of keep this thing plugged in and uh, you know it's just going to keep that charge coming into the battery uh, while you're using it or while you're driving so it's kind of free power while you drive and the same uh, input is used on the other end to plug in to the same port here so different cable goes into the same spot now the uh, the length of time for this DC charging is probably going to be a little bit longer. I believe in the specs it says up to like 14 hours potentially, but uh, I haven't quite tested that yet uh, to see actually how long that would take uh, coming from your your alternator or some other 12 volt source. Now the third option is to use uh, solar panels. They recommend that you use their solar panels, so they did provide uh, Jackery. Uh, solar panels a 100 watt solar panel and it is a pretty good solar panel and even at this time of year it was putting out about 87 watts which is really really good so I've been running a solar charging test here just using the single 100 watt Jackery panel and uh, it's been running for about four hours now and it started at about uh, 47 48 percent full and then now it's up to like 73 so about 25 percent charge going back in in about four hours it's not too bad and uh, the, 
the watts coming in has been about 65 watts and that's with the sun kind of at this angle so if you get close to the 100 it should charge up a bit faster so not too bad in order to fully charge this the time involved for solar they say is about uh, eight hours maybe a little bit more than eight hours but that is with perfect sun and you know perfect conditions using 200 watts so that would be using two of their 100 watt panels in parallel one thing I wanted to know was could I use my own solar panels with this uh, battery to recharge because maybe I have lots of solar panels on hand and uh, you know if you don't want to buy the Jackery uh, panels you could use your own solar so that uh, in order to do that you would use their Anderson power pole input for that but they don't provide you with a cable to uh, use for that so I had to actually buy my own and uh, here it is. So I picked one up on Amazon. It was just under 20 bucks and it's a Anderson power pole connector on one end that I can plug in here and it's got standard MC4 uh, solar connectors on the other end. And this is just like 10 gauge cable so it's pretty good. And from here I can connect one or more of uh, my own solar panels to be able to charge the battery. I also want to mention that the type of battery that's uh, in here that's powering this guy is a lithium ion battery and it's the same kind of lithium batteries you use in our daily lives and it also has a battery management system built in that uh, keeps the battery operating to uh, you know it's within its specifications and also provides some over temperature and under temperature protection to make sure that everything's running smoothly so it's a really safe to use and uh, a really solid unit now I think Jackery has done a pretty good job uh, with this new power station I would say the things that I really like the best about it is is, is how compact it is and uh, the size you know there are some that have more capacity a little bit more capacity but they are larger and this one's really easy to handle and uh, easy to you know you can find a place to put it which is really nice and it really has more uh, power uh, receptacles out here that than uh, a lot of other uh, ones that I've seen oh the other thing I really like are these little feet these little rubber feet on the bottom for some reason that caught my attention and and I really like those it makes it feel really solid when you have it on the ground but uh, the only downside that I can really see is that they didn't provide uh, some sort of solar cable MC4 adapter cable that goes with this Anderson power pole input but uh, you know that's something you can pick up uh, you know easily somewhere else and maybe maybe uh, Jackery actually sells them. I'm not sure. Well, I hope you uh, got something out of this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll put uh, the list of all the specs and, and everything else you need to know that I may not have mentioned in the video. I'll put that in the description and as well as the current price, which I believe is a retail of about a thousand bucks for this, which is about typical for something of this size and capacity. Now, they also may be offering some specials on pricing and, it, and whatever, so I will be sure to list that in the description as well. But I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and this review, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Time to go plug the fridge back in. All right.